If you've already watched our other Clio instructional videos, you've already learned how to create driving, walking, or heritage tours that cover your downtown, traverse your state, or even span the entire country. So you may be wondering why there's another separate tutorial on a specific type of tour. That's because multi-zone tours fulfill a very different role from the other kinds of tours and work a little differently. Multi-zone functionality allows you to divide your tour into several different sections or zones. This is especially useful for museums, historical societies, and other institutions with accounts that wish to create virtual tours taking place inside a single structure or complex. Multi-zone tours really need more than one zone to function as intended. If you only need one zone, consider changing the tour type to virtual museum or site tour. This works very similarly in that contributing entries are all contained under a single main entry. There just aren't multiple zones included in the tour. With a multi-zone tour, you can build detailed tours that guide visitors around the interior of your facility, taking them from room to room or exhibit to exhibit. As technology has become more and more integrated into how history is brought to life, some audiences have come to expect, and perhaps even prefer, a virtually augmented experience. Let's say you want to provide your visitors with an audio tour, but don't have the funding to purchase portable audio devices or the staff to prepare and maintain them. By embedding the audio in your multi-zone tour, you can give your guests that experience on their own mobile devices, hassle-free for you. Or what if you want to add video content to existing displays, but can't afford to install a TV and other hardware in every room? Put the videos in your multi-zone tour instead, and visitors can choose to watch them as they encounter each new section of your exhibit. The multi-zone tour can also be useful in larger spaces, like citywide trails, national parks, or multi-state tours that can be broken down into smaller regions or themes. For example, this tour for the greater Charleston, West Virginia area showcases public art throughout the city. The multi-zone tour function allows us to organize the tour into smaller sections connected by location and theme. Here you'll see that one zone contains the entries encountered on a single street, while another zone covers a downtown park. In this case, using zones allows you to organize these entries in a more presentational, user-friendly way than a traditional walking or driving tour. Let's see how it's done. On the Clio homepage, click on the Create a Tour button and select Multi-Zone Tour. Now you need to select your first entry. Which one you should choose depends on the kind of tour you want to build. If you're creating a multi-zone tour inside a larger building, facility, or campus, then that should be the first entry you choose. For example, if you're creating something like this multi-zone tour of the Kansas City Central Library, you'd select the entry for the library itself or write one if it hasn't been created yet. If the rest of the entries in your tour are contained within this main entry, you'll want to designate them as contributing entries. More on that later. This initial selection is less important for a multi-zone tour like the Greater Charleston, West Virginia Public Art Tour, since the rest of the entries aren't nested within that first main entry. The first entry you choose will be one among several equal entries. If you're making a tour for public use, we recommend that you create your list of entries ahead of time. However, if your museum or site does not already exist in Clio, you can add it by clicking on Create the Main Entry. Check out our other video tutorials if you need help with basic entry creation. If your museum or site already has an entry on Clio, click Choose an Existing Entry to begin building your tour. For this video, we are going to make a multi-zone tour for the Kansas City Central Library. Enter the title of the site into the search bar and choose your main entry from the list. Now that you selected your umbrella entry, you need to select the associated entries you want to add to your tour. Start by clicking the button to Add a New Zone. For this tour, we are going to organize our entries by location. Let's start by naming our zone First Floor. If you'd like to add a short description, you can do so here. Click the Confirm button and your first zone will appear to the right of the map. To add entries to this zone, either create a new entry or click on Add Existing Entry. 
Since our entries already exist on Clio, we will search for the name of the entry and select it from the list. Once you've added an entry, it will appear under the zone next to the map. Here you can choose whether this entry will appear only as a contributing entry or as both a standalone and contributing entry. Select Contributing Entry if it should only appear as part of this tour. For example, you wouldn't want a single room or exhibit at your site to appear on its own in Clio without further context. So for the purposes of this tour, we'll designate everything as a contributing entry only. Visitors will have to visit the tour page or main entry to see these tour stops. As you add entries to your zone, you will see them appear on the map. If you would like to rearrange the order of the entries, click on them in the list and drag them until they are in the order you wish for them to appear. You will also notice a button where you can add an audio clip to your zone. If you wish to add narration to give context about each zone, you can do so by clicking this button and uploading an audio file from your computer. This feature can also provide your visitors with content to experience while moving from one zone to another. Once you have completed your first zone, you can add additional zones by clicking here. Give it a name and description and you're off and running. Add as many zones as you like. If you'd like to see the entries for a single zone on the map, you can click on that zone and they will appear here. If you'd like to see all the entries on the tour at once, click Show All Zones. To select the type of directions for your tour, click on the drop-down under Choose a Navigation option. Select Straight Lines to connect your entries directly from point A to B. This navigation option is best used for contained tours that don't require a lot of travel between stops and where street directions between the entries aren't available, such as inside a building or small park. For tours that cover more ground, you can select street directions so that users can easily travel between tour stops. If you don't wish to connect your tour stops on the map, select None. Once you are satisfied with your tour, don't forget to save. Choose whether to make the tour public for others to enjoy or simply add it to your Clio account as a tour for your own use. If you're already familiar with Clio from our other tutorials or from using the platform yourself, you may have noticed that making a multi-zone tour is almost the same as creating any other kind of tour. The difference is the setting in which it's used and how you can utilize Clio's powerful functionality to enrich the visitor experience inside your institution. Hundreds of organizations have used Clio and they have found this to be an effective way to reach a broad audience and make more people aware of what their organization or community has to offer. You can build an experience that enables the visitor's mobile device to be the extra technology you need to tell your story. Thanks for watching.